This image represents the structure of the Great Pyramid of Giza. This triangular structure has height of 146 meters and the base is 230 meters wide. The entrance is at the bottom that leads first to a grand gallery and then to Queen's Chamber. The King's Chamber is at the top of the Queen's Chamber and has a stepped construction at the back. There is a ventilation shaft on the top and it passes through 30 meter long void structure. In conclusion, this famous pyramid looks simple but has a complex structure. This image represents the engineering design process. The flowchart is divided into five steps. In the first step, problem and constraints are defined, then brainstorming for ideas is done and best idea is chosen. In the third stage, diagram is drawn and necessary materials are gathered. In the fourth step, plan is followed and test is carried out. In the last step, final improvements are done after discussion and changes in the earlier stages. In conclusion, this seems to be an effective strategy for an engineering design process. This image represents the countries on the world map that are potentially vulnerable to climate change. The least vulnerable countries are in the North America and in the Eastern Europe, while less vulnerable countries include Russia, Australia, Mexico, and South Africa. The countries in the intermediate range contain South American countries, and few countries in the African continent. The vulnerable countries include China and Pakistan while the most vulnerable countries are India, South Asian countries and few African countries. In conclusion, developing countries are the most affected, while developing countries are least affected.
This image represents the food pyramid designed for humans over age 5. The vegetables, salad, and fruits is the most recommended food group which should be consumed in a 5 to 7 servings in a day. Whole meal cereals, bread, rice, and potatoes are second, while milk, yogurt and cheese are third in the order of recommendation. Meat and poultry are fourth, and fats and oils fifth, while the food which is not recommended every day is sugar, salt, and drinks high in fat. In conclusion, this pyramid shows the best and the worst foods to consume for a good health. This image represents the growth chart for goldfish. There are total four stages shown in this picture, and their body size and age are compared. The one-month-old goldfish is about one and a half inches long, while at three months it becomes three inches long. At one year, it becomes five inches long, while two-year-old fish is almost nine inches long. In conclusion, this is a good representation to tell the future size of goldfish by its age. This image represents the structure of a roundhouse. It consists of thick thatch over large timbers that make the main frame of this construction, which is placed as a triangular structure on the top. The material of the thatch is porous for the smoke to pass out so there is no need to have chimneys. There is a small door for entry at the bottom, which leads to the heart of the structure. There is a space for smoking and preserving meats and fish inside as well as there are logs for sitting, and a bed. In conclusion, this is an impressive structure and very ergonomically designed.
This image represents electricity generation, transmission, and distribution map. The electricity is generated at a power plant located outside the city. There are a few step up and step down transformers connected with transmission and distribution lines. There is a small transformer on the pole near the home which step down the voltage further before it reaches the consumer's house. In conclusion, the step up and step down transformers reduce the loss of electricity during transmission. This image represents the distribution of natural vegetation in India. In the north of the country there is mountain forest, while tropical thorn forest is present in the west and a small patch in the southeast. The majority of the forest is tropical deciduous, which runs from north to south. The tropical evergreen forest is present in the southwest as well as the east of the country, while small pockets of mangrove forest is in the southeast side. In conclusion, it seems that India has a variety of forests and natural vegetations. This bar chart compares the increase in average rent, house price and income in the state of California between 2011 to 2015. The highest increase in rent was seen in San Francisco, while house price increase was seen in Oakland, San Jose, Sacramento, Los Angeles and San Diego. The highest increase in income was seen in San Jose when compared to other locations. In conclusion, the increase in average income was very little compared to the average rent and house prices in the state of California.
This flowchart represents how a virus works after infection. The first stage is adsorption, which includes attachment of the virus to the host cell. Then the virus releases its genetic material inside the cell and the virus detaches itself from the host. After that there is a replication of viral DNA and its body parts. In the fourth step the viral DNA and its body parts are assembled to form an army of new viruses inside the host cell. In the last stage, the viruses break through the cell wall to infect other cells. In conclusion, this is a good representation of how a disease is spread in living organisms. This image represents the life cycle of an apple tree. The mature tree produces fruits, which contain seeds inside it. The seeds sprout in the presence of soil and water. The sprouting seed grows leaves and roots at the top and bottom. After few days of growth the sapling become a small tree. When the apple tree matures and becomes large enough to bear fruits, thus its life cycle starts again. In conclusion, this life cycle is common for almost all trees. This image represents the process of osmoregulation in sharks. To maintain the water and salt concentrations inside the body, the shark ingests salts with food. The water is absorbed by gills and skin, the gills also function to block the loss of urea. The most of the urea is retained by kidneys and leftover salts are excreted as urine by rectal gland. In conclusion, the osmoregulation maintains 35% salinity in the blood which is equal to the seawater surrounding the shark.
These two images represent how the city of Dubai has changed during the 30-year period. In year 1989, the city of Dubai had just one major road with very few buildings. Additionally, the city mostly looked like a desert with very low population. On the other hand, in year 2019, the city looks very modern, and it built countless skyscrapers, subways, highways and flyovers. In conclusion, the infrastructure development has boomed the economy and given the city a scenic look. This pie chart represents the proportion of various burglary entrance points. The highest number about 34% of burglars used front door as an entry point to steal. About 23% of thieves used a window located on a first floor of a building to enter for burglary. Back door was a choice of entry for 22% of burglars. While 9% used garage, 6% were unspecified, 4% used unlocked entrance, while the least number, about 2%, used the second floor window. In conclusion, it's clear that keeping the front, the back and windows secured can avoid almost 80% of burglaries. This image represents the effects of light pollution on the feeding behavior of fish. During the daytime the density of fish is less, but fish mostly feed on the coral reefs, so there is more predation. During the night, more number of fish come out to swim, but very less predation occurs. However, due to artificial lights coming from the city is making the fish to keep feeding during the nighttime. In conclusion, it seems that the life balance of sea life has disturbed due to man-made light pollution.
The two pie charts compare the changes in the average household expenditure by major categories between year 1950 and 2010. During year 1950, almost 72% expenditure was for housing, but in year 2010 it dropped to just a 22%. The expenditure on food roared from 11.2% to 34%. Surprisingly, the expenditure on education remained the same. The healthcare expense has doubled, while transportation quadrupled. The other unspecified expenditure has gone up by four times. In conclusion, since the housing expenditure has gone down, the people spend their money on other unnecessary items. This image represents the food chain that exists in the wild. In the beginning, grass is produced due to sunlight and water, which is eaten by the grasshopper as a primary consumer. Frogs eat grasshopper as a secondary consumer, while frogs are eaten by snakes that make them tertiary consumers. Hawk is a final consumer that eats snakes. When hawk dies, fungi acts as a decomposer. In conclusion, this food chain makes the life prosper on this biosphere. This flowchart represents the process of making paper from radiata pine thinnings. Firstly, wooden logs are obtained from the forest, a debarking drum is used to get the bark off those wooden logs. Secondly, a chipper is used to cut down the wooden logs into small chips. Thirdly, water is used in a thermomechanical refiner to refine the usable material. Finally the paper making machine is used to make paper. In conclusion, this process seems to be very significant to make high quality paper.
This image represents the historic, current and potential rhino population distributions. It seems that, in the past, the rhinos were widely distributed in Pakistan, India, Nepal and Bhutan. However, due to loss of habitat, currently they can only be located in small isolated pockets in North India, Bhutan and Nepal border. In conclusion, although this amazing animal was hunted near the brink of extinction by humans, the potential future habitat holds the hope for their existence in the future. This image represents the issue of space and economic inequality in the developing nations. On the left side of image there is a slum area with small houses built in an unregulated manner. The small houses are built in congestion and it clearly lacks transportation roads and space for recreational activities. On the other hand, on the right hand side there is a multi-story building with each flat having access to a balcony and sunlight. In addition, there is a common playground and swimming pool. In conclusion, the multi-story buildings have solved the problem of space in overpopulated countries. This line graph represents the annual sales of hardware and software from year 1992 to 2002. In year 1992, 20,000 units of hardware and over 25,000 units of software were sold. There was a dramatic increase in the sale of software for next three years before falling back to original sales number in year 1999. There was a gradual increase in hardware sales until year 1999, then it falls back to 25,000 units. In conclusion, the software sales were higher, while hardware sales were less promising during the given period.
This pie chart compares various web browsers according to their usage in percentage. Firefox is liked by almost 40% of the users, while the Internet Explorer and Chrome are second and third respectively. Very least proportion of people use Opera and Safari. In conclusion, Firefox was the most popular while Opera browser was the least favorite among the Europeans. These two images compare the old and improved design of a bird feeder. The bird feeder mainly consists of a suspended plastic bottle on a tree branch with a rope attachment on the top. In the first structure there are wooden pencils inserted in the bottle to make a platform for the birds to sit during feeding. The newly improved design replaces those wooden pencils with flathead wooden spoons, which holds the grains for the birds to feed efficiently. In conclusion, the improved design would prevent the wastage of grains and it looks bird friendly. This bar graph represents the amount of environmental waste generated and recycled in millions of kilograms from year 2000 to 2013. During year 2000, least amount of waste was created, and half of that was recycled. However, until year 2010 the waste recycle proportion decreased. From year 2011 to 2013, more and more waste was recycled. In conclusion, the importance of recycling the waste was observed from year 2010 onwards.
This image represents the alignment of planets that leads to a total and partial solar eclipse. When moon comes in between the sun and the earth, and when there is a straight line alignment, an eclipse occurs. When sun rays pass over the moon, they form a circular shadow on the earth's surface. The total eclipse can be seen from the center of the shadow, called umbra, and partial eclipse can be seen from the peripheral circle called penumbra. In conclusion, the occurrence of solar eclipse is rare and can be seen once in a few years. This image represents a process of producing plywood from trees. In the first stage, tree logs are obtained from the forest and they are debarked. In the second step, the logs are cut into peeler blocks before proceeding towards veneer peeling and clipping. In the third step, the wood undergoes a process of veneer drying, glue spreading, and cold pressing. In the last stage, hot pressing, Sanding and trimming processes are performed before the sheets are graded and packed for delivery. In conclusion, this fully automated process seems very efficient. This image represents the process of production of a sleep hormone called melatonin. When human eyes see candle light there is inhibition, and during darkness there is stimulation of melatonin production. The melatonin is produced in the brain by pineal gland, upon the stimulus form the eyes. The production and inhibition creates the biological clock of the body. In conclusion, this shows how our body responds to the light and darkness, and how the production of melatonin depends on the light.
These two graphs compare the income distribution in the USA, China, India, and rest of the world. During year 1970, the average annual income in China and India was around $1,000 per year, while in the US the income was much higher. During year 2000, there was an increment of income in all countries. In conclusion, in US the income was equally distributed for both years, but for other countries it was distributed equally only in year 2000. The pie chart represents the proportion of post-secondary degrees awarded during year 1997 and 98. The highest degrees were awarded for first professionals at 47%. It was followed by associates degrees at 27%. 20% degrees were awarded for students who completed masters, while smallest proportion was for bachelors and doctoral degree programs. In conclusion, Highest numbers of degrees were awarded for first professionals, while the lowest numbers of degrees were awarded for candidates who completed their doctoral degree program. bar chart compares the number of incidents and injuries for every 100 million passenger miles traveled on five different types of public transport in 2002. Rail services experienced fewer problems. The number of incidents on light rail trains equaled the figure recorded for buses, but there were significantly fewer injuries, at only 39. Heavy rail services saw lower numbers of such events than light rail services, but commuter rail passengers were even less likely to experience problems. In conclusion, the most incidents and injuries took place on demand response vehicles.
This graph represents the climate at Beckside Farm in Cumbria. The temperature ranges from 2 to 15 degrees Celsius, while the rainfall ranges from 60 mm in February and April to about 150 mm in November. It seems that winter months are from November to February and summer period is from June to the end of August. It rains all year round with varying amount of precipitation. However, the average precipitation is 60 to 100 mm with the maximum of 150 at the year end. In conclusion, it is a cold region with plenty of rain throughout the year. This bar chart represents the number of marriages, divorces, and remarriages that occurred in the UK during the year 1961, 1981 and 2001. In year 1961 there were 350,000 first marriages, minor percentage got divorced and about 50,000 got remarried. In year 1981 the first marriages reduced to 250,000 and more than half of the couples got divorced and almost equal number got remarried. However, in year 2001, higher number of couples got divorced. This image represents the mean annual temperatures across the United States. The southern states are the hottest with mean daily temperature ranging from 70 degree Fahrenheit and above while northern states are the coldest with temperature ranging from 32 to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. The states located in the middle of the country show the temperature range from 50 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. In conclusion, the daily temperatures are very high in the far southern region while very low in the far northern region.
This image represents an existing floor plan and proposed changes to an apartment. A typical unit consists of a kitchen, a hall, and a living room. In the proposed changes, the internal wall separating living room from hall is removed and the position of internal doors is also changed to the opposite side. New plan also consists of kitchen furniture. In conclusion, under the new plan this apartment looks much more spacious, however, the concealed storage under the storage will not available for the residents. This bar graph represents the favorite sport for children. It seems that swimming is most like sports with total of 25 children. The second most preferred sport is cricket with 20 kids. About 15 children stated that they like soccer while 10 children fancy martial arts. Skating is the least favorite sport with just about 7 kids. In conclusion, swimming is the most favored and skating is the least selected sport by children in this survey. We'll be right